Previously on Duncan Custom Airbrush. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh, fire's hot. I think I'm dying. Mmm. Oh man. Hmm. I guess. Uh, I guess me an idea. Let's go. Ooh, what is up, guys? So today I got a little inspired by getting burned. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use these colors right here. And before we get started, I'm gonna explain what all we got going on. We're gonna make this <coughs> guy into a fire tumbler. So to get started, I've got colors. I've got reducer and I've got white. The white is opaque. These, you can get these opaque, but for this I'm using the detail, which that means on these it is transparent. If it doesn't say detail, then it is opaque. For the white, it is definitely opaque. There's no other way to get white. Okay, for the fire, you're gonna wanna look at some reference photos, and the way I got good at doing fire was I actually set a fire outside and took some still pictures to study because fire is really random really organic and it just has some crazy cool shapes and a lot of people like to use a french curve but i like to use my french manicure <laughs> there we go like that that's better but before we get started because i know people are going to ask all these paints you can see I got it at Hobby Lobby, but you can use the link in the description. I'll have it all descriptive down there. You have to play with the ratios, but about 20 drops of this, 10 drops of this, three to five drops of this. That'll get you started, get you in the ballpark, 40 PSI. To start off, I'm just gonna fog the bottom a little bit. And you see that splattery look? You could stand to be thinned out a little bit more. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we have that working beautifully now. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go real organic and kinda of just map it out. This is gonna be like your background fire. It's not really a big deal. You just give you some spacing that you wanna do, maybe some shapes that you wanna to try to go. This is again where your references come in handy, where you study. Just give it a little color. What this is gonna end up being is just a little bit of a red layer and it doesn't really matter this is where you can be free to experiment and put stuff where you think you might want it to go and then just do crazy stuff like that make cool shapes and then your eyes will see whoa I see something right there and you could do it now it's, we don't necessarily do it on the red layer whether we're doing that masking shield with our thumb so this is the experiment layer where it's loose and free and just use that to map out. Look at that, that looks like fire already. So get this all the way around, just do something crazy. And it doesn't matter, don't think about the shapes that much. Now when you're first starting, you're gonna wanna get a reference photo and then look at it and try to maybe mimic that shape. But the more free you let your hand be, the better and you'll have these things I like to do these connectors especially on the background layers where you just connect two or three flame licks together and then you know just do a couple squiggles I like to do one more thing it's these hot spots like choo -choo -choo. boom can you see that yeah way up there on the top of the camera do these little hot spots right here a little choo. come in close and do a little dagger if your airbrush quits spraying, you're gonna see, focus. See the little bit of tip build up on there. Grab your rag, be gentle that you don't bend it and just pinch that off. Pull your air back, get a little chuck chuck blow and you should be clear to go back to it. Back to it, get back on it, there you go. Nice and free, it doesn't matter. See, I'm just kind of going crisscross little swoopy shapes I don't know what you call them but I will tell you I do make this look a little easier than it is because of my studying of what a, a flame fire whatever looks like so you will have to do some homework people go use this as an excuse to get with the family and make a campfire why not happy little campfire oh don't we all love a good campfire while you're at it just get you some marshmallows and roast them up okay there's your tip of the day family time bonding 
All right, so I mixed up my red. I'm using my another airbrush. Now this, I want a HPCS. This is my go-to workhorse. Like if you're serious about airbrushing, don't even bother getting this, okay? If you're just thinking that you might want to try airbrush, you don't want to spend a lot of money, go ahead and get this. But if you know that you're gonna be airbrushing for a, a little bit and wanna invest a little bit more, uh, this is the only airbrush. Now I have the custom because it has a bigger cup, but you just get the regular HPCS and you will probably never have to buy another airbrush in your life. When you go from this to this, your skills, I know you're not gonna believe me, but will instantly double improvement just by switching to this. I'm just saying, that's just the quality of the Iwata, it's the best there is. So now I've got the red in there, and we're just gonna go over all this stuff with the red. And don't worry if it looks kinda pink, no big deal. I, holy crap, I'm looking through the camera, I don't see what I'm doing. Sorry, you can get heavy if you want, but you don't have to. It's just gonna be going all over again with orange, so it'll just, the next color will intensify it. So it's just for the 3D depth and layers. So just go, I mean you can go the whole thing if you want to, I don't care. But I'm, I just like doing like little streaks here, they don't go too crazy. Hit the bottom up, which is it's not really necessary because you're gonna go over the bottom again. Sometimes you have to trial and error to figure your problems out. And then, you know, you'll be okay. But don't give up. These things out. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to skip so many steps from showing you guys so you can see the entire process. And if you like the way it looks, like, just fade it in. But if you wanna do some little close up things, you can do that too, it's no big deal. If you want it a little brighter red. But remember, you're gonna go back over all this with orange again anyway. So this is really just the far, far back, deepest fire, so. I was looking at, I'll show you this real quick. Really, the red is going to be like the glowy part, if that makes sense. I just wanted to tell you that, kind of help you make sense of why you're doing what you're doing. So that's the glowy part, okay? So think of it like that. So what you want to do is definitely go over the edges, like out of, out of the lines, so to speak, like coloring out of the lines, and make sure you're getting it to that glowy look. So if you get it like this, it's looking good and you're liking it. it's looking kind of hot already you're going in the right direction I'm recording hello I'm recording hey hey Whee. I'm recording here you knucklehead <laughs> Eli wants to watch me but he can't be quiet oh my gosh <laughs> all right I got my other airbrush with the white still in it that's why I like to use two because I mix up a white and I keep using that because you got to go back and forth with that in between each transparent color so the theory behind this we did loose and we're dark and we're going lighter and tighter each time so you have a red layer a yeah uh -huh, orange layer then a yellow layer and if you want to you put a little white high spots high spots but it's not necessary you can you don't have to so what your idea is you see how kind of dotty that is it needs to be a little bit thinner to spray more finer smoother so now I reduced it a little more make it a little thinner so all you're looking to do is use what you've already got and kind of accent it and this is where say you like this little line right here don't go over it all the way just put your thumb there and do a little ch -ch 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 boom there you have a little do another one here I use my fingers all over the place just give you a little shape of fire look at that boom yeah just finding what you've already done and what you like, connect them. It's really hard to explain unless you study fire and figure out the shapes that you like. That's why we do this loose layer first to show you, to give you an idea of where you think it looks good. But so this one is still slightly loose layer. I like. My pinky and my thumb is my favorite. So you just make a little connector. See how it's just like a little ghosted effect. Remember, we're gonna go over this layer with orange. A little Don't go crazy. And the little hot spot you got, just remember we did it with the red. Just do it with the, boom. No time, you got fire. It's really not that hard unless you try to think about it too much. So you do a hard line and then let me show you right here. I'm gonna show you right here. Do a hard line and then blow it out and fade. Cause that's what fire is. It's like a, if you think about, let me shut this thing up for a minute. If you think about 
bubble gum when you blow a bubble it's hard on the edges but this the middle is kind of like wispy and see-through that's exactly kind of what you want to look for with fires you got the, the hard edge which you can do with your thumb you a lot of people use a French curve also which I do but I like using my fingers I can feel where I put it put it wherever I want to and you'll get you see that looks like a mess up right there, but you can make that take your finger as a little shield, pump, 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 and make it like a little, like you did it on purpose. Like this is fire, it's organic, don't get too picky about it. Like, who's gonna tell you, well that's not what fire looks like. Uh, fire don't make that shape. If you look at fire and you take pictures, it makes all kinds of ridiculous shapes. So it's extremely organic. The more organic, the better. Listen, these things right here, these little burning embers or ambers, I don't even know how you're supposed to say them. Are they embers or ambers? I don't know. So I love these things. Just put a little pump, 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 and it really make it look hot. And then back it up and do a little whoosh. Boom, look that mug's on fire right there. You don't even need to add all them other colors, but I'm going to, because I want to. So I like to do the connectors, do a little, little rocking motions. Go this way, go that way, and then when you have a shape like this, just like the bubblegum thing, fill it in in the middle, make it thinner, and then bring it back around town, touch it, connect it, and who knows, this mug might be connecting this guy over here. We don't know his life, so that might be where he wants to live, what he likes to do, who knows. What are you doing, man? You dropping my papers? Pause for uh, cleanup on aisle two from Eli. All right, so remember you gotta go over with the orange. Just keep it loose. I like to, oh, you can't even see it. Hold on, let me move you down here. I like to have the hot spot down at the bottom, you know, like a little. Little shoot. And you can go slow. If you, there's a curve you wanna do, just pull back gently and go slow and then back up and blow. And then, it's just something you have to practice. It's a really hard thing to explain and you to be able to get it. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. Eli's leaving, so we'll get back to it. So this curve goes this way. I put my finger inside of it a little bit so you can still see the red back there. As far as the background, you go, you know, just do a little weird organic shape let your hand go crazy and then you see something you like put your stencil or freehand shield or french curve or whatever you want to use it's just and then so you got you just have to remember i don't know what i'm saying you have loose ends and then fade it out and you got hard edges which you can't see because my hand's covering it up here we go all right, we're back. I didn't notice my hand was covered up and you were way down low. I don't know why, why you're sitting on the floor there, buddy. Pump, 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 get them hot spots. When you pull a dagger, that's the, if you need some practice on daggers, I got a video right here, shows you how to do some like uh, practice strokes to get your hand prepared and ready for doing fire or anything about control of your airbrush. All right, we've almost got it all the way back around. But the main thing you want to remember, I know I'm probably talking loud into the camera because I'm looking over the top of it. I like those little bridges is what I call them, connectors. I think those are cool. I mean, you do, do it how you want. But the main thing is, as you go around, just don't cover up all the red so you want to make sure you still see a lot of red and you don't exactly have to follow see the red went this way and I just made a sharper curve there no big deal probably do some more right here probably do a little one of them little things right here boom and then do a little glow around it boom I love those things could you see that is that focused those are really popular there's a guy I do fire for on his vehicles he loves those burning ember things so and then like right here you want to just it looks a little thin like maybe you just want 
connect that a little bit so you can still see the red through it. I like doing a little, make your hand wiggle. It's just whatever, like really. There's no, there's a few rules. I'm not gonna say there's no rules, but free yourself up because if you free your hand up to do whatever it wants to do, you're gonna find some really cool shapes as opposed to painstakingly thinking about, oh, I should go, oh, I should go this way, I should go, oh, oh, oh. That's not how you, no, don't do it that way. Just free yourself up to be able to just paint. If you just wanna put a little doodad there, do it here. That's why you go loose to tight, you, so you can refine it as you go. You can change it, whatever you want. Put, add, you wanna add a little something here? Look, look at that, hold on, I'm gonna show you that little poot of a line I made. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. You see that right there? What is that? That doesn't look like fire, or does it? Let me show you. So you see, I got a little curve going that way. So I'm just gonna put my thumb right there, pump it a little bit, blow it out, maybe put a little doodad right there. And I think I'll put my little finger, my pinky. Let's put my pinky right here. Do a little, ooh, a little, boom, look at that. Bring it down a little bit, and then boom. You got a little wisp of fire coming in out of the background, out of the shadows of nowhere and it looks like you did it on purpose. So there's always ways to fix stuff. Just use your imagination. Let your mind be free. You can't see the bottom that I'm painting because I'm, I'm too close. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, we're back. Oh, I love those things. And if you want to, you can make a little halo around it if you want. Boom, look at that. That mug is coming in the atmosphere. Wow. I love those. And look, I'll show you another thing. Uh, you could do this on any color, any layer. You do a little whoosh, Make a, I'll show you how to make a little point right there. And if you take your thumb the other way and kind of touch it at the top and you make another one, look, I made a nice little point right there. It's just a little piece of fire coming up. There's all kinds of tips and tricks and ways to do these things. And I know a lot of people say that do fire. Don't keep using the same stencil over and over, but if you notice, I'm using my thumb the majority of the time, maybe a little bit of the pinky, but it's not gonna look repetitive if you're being random with it, and you're just being free. Like, look, woo, look at that. And show you, remember the needle's out on mine. I don't know how you do yours, but I like to have the needle out. But when you go pull back harder and faster, that's those dagger strokes right there. You just gotta practice those, get your page of them, watch that other video of mine, and go to town practicing them boogers. And just keep working this till you feel satisfied about the progress you made. It looks like fire looks good to you. There's no, you can have as much fire as you want, or as little fire, it doesn't matter. So, I'm really digging that. I think I'll do a little bit more white down here I like to just go in the same general direction and look watch this you see that big space right there I'm gonna separate it by doing this just put my thumb and blow boom 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 look at that I just separate it now I want to bring it back together boom you see how versatile that is versatile is that how you say that I don't know what do I look like an English teacher so I'm pretty happy with the way that looks I think, you know, you can keep going for hours if you want to, be, be as picky as you want, or just keep moving forward. So I think that's good. I would like to have a bridge right here. I like, I love those bridges. Boom, I didn't even do the bottom side, just did the top, you know? So I love that. That's looking like fire to me, good enough. I really like these organic shapes. Wow, that looks good, look at that. I'm happy with that. All right, now we got the orange. Ooh, my goodness. I about forgot to put my lid on. Ooh, yeah, the whole world orange after that. So you take your whites, you just fill them in with orange. It's that simple. See, you go over the red and it just intensifies that. Gives you that 3D look, the depth you're looking for. Move you over this way so you can see a little better maybe. So boom, you see that? Just covering up, look at that. It just lit up. 
this is instantly on fire the real colors and I forgot that actually I wanted to do a um, orange section a green section and a blue section and do like a rainbow all the way around but I forgot got carried away started doing the whole thing with the realistic fire but actually that's a good thing because the more you can see the same thing done the the better you can get an idea of how to utilize it and then uh, maybe at a later date if you guys want to see the rainbow colors or maybe a different color like an orange not orange this is orange what are you talking about Lucas? And if you want to see another color like the blue which is beautiful or the toxic green which is green and yellow which is sick ah my gosh I'm gonna try to find a picture and put it right here of this uh, bass guitar I did in the green and yellow toxic fire I feel like it is just whoo is nasty ridiculous so cool looking and I did it for this guy whose birthday is on Halloween, and he played in a rockabilly band. So, that's what he wanted. That's what made him happy. So that's what I did. Okay, so this one, it's like, you just, just, just be careful. Don't cover it up and run. But, I mean, if you do, like, don't worry about it. You can fix it. Go back over it with a light if you mess something up. Look at that. Come on. Look at the difference. There and there. What? Just that simple. Look at that. There to there. That's just insane. It's just, it's really a process of your layers. And just going at it like that. Shapes and layers. The layers being the, the opaque to transparent, then opaque. And now when I do this on cars, different colors, just because there's a guy, old master who invented this style of paint and fire, named Mike Lavallee. He passed away uh, last year, I believe, and he's the one who invented this style and showed everybody how to do it. And that's where I learned from. So. Finish this up. Like I said, I'm trying not to cut too much out so you guys can see, because I know this is a difficult subject to paint and learn. So I want you to see as much as possible. I feel like I just want a little more orange there. A little orange over there. Wow. It's so crazy. So the next color, I'm a, I feel like that's good. That looks really good to me. We're going to come back with yellow on these hot spots. And the, the tighter you get, the hotter it gets, the tighter the and the less of that layer you do. As you notice, I did... A big thick red layer, well white then red, I call it red. You know what I'm talking about, don't be picky. Then a thinner orange layer, and now the thinnest of all is going to be the yellow layer. And what it's going to do is take your eye and make it motion out of it because your eye is going to go to the hot spots. That's what's going to give this fire movement. Like if you're look, doing going down the side of I don't know what I'm saying. If you're going down the side of a motorcycle tank with this and you turn it, it gives it motion. I can get my arm out of the way. There we go. To go down the tank. Like, look, this thing's going that way. It's full motion, blasting. Let's get the white back out and we'll come back. So we've got our white. If I didn't mention this before, I'll mention it again. Each layer, when you gotta get tighter and tighter and closer and closer with the detail, you're gonna wanna thin it out more each time. If you could practice and try, see if you could barely pull it back and get a little dot. And boom, that. Man, that's nice. I got this thing thinned out nice. And what I like to do, of course, like I said, is take the bottom. Because the bottom is going to be, well, back up. You can't see, Terry. Back it up, Terry. The bottom is going to be, uh, in my mind, the source of the fire. So is that where you do the hot spot, okay? So there's that. Do a little whisk there. Remember, it's minimal. And you're just gonna connect these like that. That's all you're really looking to do with this. So you see this hot spot right here. You're not gonna cover up the orange again. What you're gonna do is just take it and just barely hit it. Boom. You see how much hotter that got? When you do the yellow, it's gonna blend in with the other layers and it's just gonna look hot. So just hit them spots where you want the brightest yellow to be. Remember, we're very minimal on this, so if you go in, just do a little, whoosh, 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 little, little blow out there, just a little fade. My hand's gonna be in the light some for this, so you got a little wisp there. So what I like to do is just do a little connector, do a little, and then whoosh, like that, boom, like that. That's cool. I know I say like that, like that, but really. This is a hard thing to explain. You just gotta watch and get your hands dirty. Hey, be still, hooker. And 
get in there noodle away at see what did I do just there if you remember like on the other video I just referenced those are the dots remember the dot practice so go back do all those practice exercises because literally that's how you paint images is by doing the little dots and strokes and stuff like that once again fade out the can you see the bottom you cannot see the bottom look at me look at me looking at you trying to look at me painting the bottom because you can't see it boom get closer hotter boom look at that that's hot right there Ooh -wee. you got a big spot here look i wanted this to be a curve sharp so just take anything listen guys get creative give me that cap man get creative look i got this little marker lid thing boom just blow a little edge just like that boom i really pulled back a lot on that but you know what maybe it's hotter i don't know you you don't know this fire's life Don't you ever tell me how to live my life again yeah you do because you, do, you made it boom and look check this out see that orange line still going through that didn't completely fill that area in i like doing stuff like that it's just cool you just you'll figure out what you like what works but you can't do it without doing some that you might not like the first time don't don't be so hard on yourself listen you gotta remember that you gotta keep having fun if you're not having fun then it's not gonna enjoy be enjoyable and you're not gonna want to learn i want to keep getting better and doing this Get a real hot spot right there, boom. Let's fade out a little bit, boom. I want that one to glow yellow a little bit around it. Why not? In my world, that's the way I have it. Because that's the way I want it. See that hotter spot going right there? Just do a little fade this way, fade that way, boom. You got a little connector right there. Boom. That's all there is to it. So you see the difference from the red to the orange to the what's next going to be yellow. This is hot right here. It's already pretty hot right there. It doesn't need much. I like it. I'm going to do a little wisp right there. It'll be yellow. And try to stay on the orange with this one. Don't get crazy. Now that you've already got the majority of your flames established, just stay within the lines on this one, okay? You got crazy on the red. Went a little wild. This time to reserve it. Kick it back. You're almost done here. You're just enjoying the rest of the ride here. Pull back, hold back further, pull back more, boom. You got that, and if you want to, a cool thing to do, you see how the curve's going this way, but you see that line going this way? Take it and hit from your fingernail and go down. Fade it out. See, boom, see that fade out? That's so pretty. So we're just gonna keep noodling away at this just some shapes you like and it doesn't have to be lines there could be dots that make stuff you know back it up do a little fog it in it's really whatever man really fire that you study is going to look different from fire that I study because fire is never the same it has basic same traits and shapes but every single time it's going to be different looking for me it is a matter of balance i think i want a little connector here and listen if you want to go back and say you want to add some more orange you feel like maybe you put too much yellow or maybe you want a little more of the deep red go ahead and do that and you can just step it up and go however many steps backwards and forwards that you want to just use your imagination. It's your fire. Do it however you feel. And listen, if you think of something, well, I, would, I wish I would have done this, or I would like to try this, just do it. It's the only way you're going to learn. You're only going to get better if you let your mind be free to try the things it's thinking about. You know what I mean? Like You can't go through life wondering... Man, I wonder what if I'd have done this? What if what if I'd have put this flame right here? What if I'd have, man, I wish I would have went back and had that done already or dude, just do it. I know I'm talking a lot more on this video because I'm trying to keep you guys give you some words of wisdom while I'm finishing up so you can watch as much of this as 
possible because I want you guys to really get the knack for painting fire. And listen, say you did this little doodle right here or this one right here, you can always go back with a little bit of black and fade it in. But then again, you may be getting a little too picky. They're not mistakes. They're happy little accidents. And if you got something that you think, oh man, I kind of messed up, well just fix it. Make it do something like it was there on purpose the entire time. My hand's in the shadow, so I can't really see. But look, boom. That little boo-boo turned into a nice little hot spot. Just make it work. Some of my most awesome things have been through fixing what I thought were boo-boos. They turned out to be fantastic. So there's a life lesson for you. I got a few more spots I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna buzz through those real quick and then we'll put the yellow on. And I can get really close and quick and sharp and then blow it out the same as if you hold your thing and blow it out like that because just I've got control through the years just doing it so much and I'm all pretty fast at it I'm just letting you watch me finish this last little bit on this, uh, what will be the yellow layer. And then we'll just spray the yellow, same as I did the orange, same as I did the red. Probably put a little doodad right there, why not? Just give it a little hot spot right there. I like this one to go like this, who cares, you know? Wiggle, let your hand do some crazy shapes look at that that's gonna make when you do something like that and then blow it in and fade it in there boom that's all you gotta do that looks like more realistic fire than anything that you could do that would be like on purpose so that's why I say just let your hand be free to create shapes and you see a cool shape and you don't think it's that perfect but you just take it and blow it in fog it in like that boom that's what's exciting so I think we're gonna call this yellow layer done. Even though it's white, I'm gonna do the yellow. You know what I'm trying to say. I think I'll put a little more, let's put a little connector right here. A little big guy, a little pinky, a little pinky guy right there. Boom, why not? He wants to be join the party with this guy over here. So we're gonna let him, boom. Man, that fire is gonna be hot. Wait till you see the yellow on this mug. So I'm just going to call it quits there because I could keep going because this is so much fun and when it really starts to look like fire you really get excited and so I'm going to put this up. I'm going to load up my airbrush with some yellow and we'll do the I color. Like, oh, whoa, what? I like yellow. Holy crap, where'd you come from? Yellow's my favorite color. I mm. like it. Holy jeez, I did not know you were behind <laughs> me. Oh my I gosh, like Bailey. Oh. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So we're going to put in the yellow and we're going to, we're just going to spray some yellow. I can't believe you got, how did you get in here without me noticing? All right, now it's the time you've all been waiting for. This is where the magic happens. I'm, you're, you're going to be like, wow, ooh, that's hot, ow, that's hot. Okay, so I have the yellow and oh my gosh, did you see that? Did you see how that just glows? But it's not glow paint or anything. It's just yellow. Hold on, I'm gonna move you to the side a little bit so you can see this in action, like right here. Boom, oh my gosh. And really, if you want to, you can go lighter in the middle and just keep it towards the edges and leave that, and make it look hotter, I don't know. I just really like the yellow, just saturate that mug. Because if you want to, of course, you can keep going and do a little dot of white there and maybe like a little like I'll show you over here. Like say that's a little dot of white that you just added and you just go, just kick it back just a little bit. That'll be the hottest of the hot spots if you want to go that far with it. To me, personally, this is enough. This is, this, this is the, I can't speak because it's so beautiful. But this is just enough to sell the illusion that you're trying to pull, but I'm so glad that this stuff's so easy to work with. So, 
yeah, just go how, cover it however you want to. And so I'm gonna show you. Look, I'm almost done. I went all the way around already that fast. So I'm gonna when I finish this up, which is gonna be like a, literally a few seconds, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm gonna come back with you know what it is. Booyah! The mate clearé, and then Oof. epoxy it and. This thing, when you epoxy it, you see how bright it is right now. Do you see how bright this is? When you epoxy this, this mug is going to light up the world. You can use this thing as a nightlight. Not really. Don't don't try to use it as a nightlight and say I was lying. because It's not true. I've got one more hot spot down here or up here. Where, boom, boom. Oh my gosh, that mug lit up. Oh my gosh. That mug is lit up. Oh, I'm really sad that I finished with this. Before I let you go, listen guys, I wanna tell you, this was requested by the people in my VIP group. And if you don't know what that is, that goes live on August the 1st, but I am letting people in. And there's a link in the description, duncancustomairbrush.com. Go to the tab that says VIP. If you're just curious or nosy and you just wanna know what it is, just click there, go look at it, read it. And we have a ball, a video FaceTime chat in the discord with this it's a private discord server that we're in and they ask questions they post their stuff they're doing great work and this was a request they said they wanted to see some real fire airbrushing so I said okay I got you fam because that's how we do and listen this was a little advanced I'm gonna be honest with you if you don't feel like you can do this don't worry about it I've got a solution for you to still get the cool fiery look that video is coming out next week so be waiting for that because I like to take care of all of you guys I don't like to leave anybody out so if this is too hard for you don't worry about it i got another video coming next week and then after that i've got another fire idea that i want to try i think it'll be really cool like a geode with some glitter because who doesn't love that right so that's enough yakking let's see let's finally see what this beauty how much it brightens up with epoxy right now <laughs>